Over. Oh, hello. Oh, over. This is Sky Five. Five and nine or two seven. Uh, I'm currently playing Euro Truck Simulator. Two. Uh, based off the original Euro Truck Simulator. One. <laughs> and uh, well, I actually, I actually, as you can see here, I actually have played a little bit of this. Made it to level three. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, I, I did actually try recording uh, of this game before, but that was back when I had an older ancient laptop, and the graphics caused it to lag horrendously, so I'm playing now on this new laptop, and it's gonna run a lot smoother. Anyway, I would now be switching over to the more voice. Copy that, no work. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Gear Truck Simulator 2. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start a new profile to just run the basic tutorials of this game. Vernon Sky Cloud, England. Right? Or is that it? Oh yeah, that's my name, the her church is picture. Right. Uh I'm going with that because that's the closest that actually matches me out of everyone here. No. I don't even have a goatee. I'm not really all about the facial hair, honestly. So if I were to say anything, this kinda looks like Wory, maybe Rosie. This guy looks way too happy. This guy, like, I, I feel like I've seen before somewhere on a TV commercial. Actually, no. His nose is too wide. Golly, there's a. This guy looks like, almost like Jack Septic Eye. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. This guy actually looks more like me. <laughs> just, just the dimples and the and the smile and the hairstyle and the glasses. And look, he's even wearing the same color that I like, sky blue. Let's see now. What truck will I be picking? I'm gonna go with that one. That looks like a really cool one. And what design did I have last time? You know, I'm gonna go with World Map. Uh, what's the name of my company? Ooh, ooh! The Crescent Lunar Company. Yes, there's actually a reason why I'm. I specifically chose Crescent Lunar, but that will probably be more on that a lot later. Uh, okay, yeah, great. Uh, I'm gonna go with keyboard, symbol automatic, left, A, D, W, S. Okay, good, good. So... It's been a while since I've actually played this game. Well, since the last time I played it. Select the city. Alright, now I have chosen to go to Poland because, surprisingly enough, I discovered that I'm part Russian and part. No, wait, not uh, Russian, uh, part white Russian and part Polish. And my grandparents were Polish given their last name and everything, and I wanted to go to Brokaw, that's the place I chose the last time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do walkthrough tutorial just as a beginner. I should probably full screen this because, um... Everything is being captured at the moment at the bottom, probably. White screen! Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2! At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job!
driving a truck. Four long, boring hours to drive from one place to another, but you get paid well. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of reservoir tank to Euro Acres, dock in Bruno. Without the, it's Bruno without the U, and we don't talk about front group that guy. Uh, your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I played Dolu twice. Oh, I, I can't, uh... Oh, here we go. Um... Options, here we go. Graphics. Right. Full screen mode. Alright, back to driving. Sorry, I had to take care of that real quick. Alright. Press E to start the engine. WASD, uh, of course. Oh, I love the interior. And look at that. Trucks even have nice little beds. For, you know, when you need to stop. Ooh. Let's see. One, two, you know, one is interior, two is pasting, three is overview, I don't like that, four is roof camera, I don't like that, ooh, come on, I have to remember that, five is the plane out seat, bumper, drive by, oh no, that's on wheel, and that's drive by, but I prefer to, Press enter to continue. Wait. Where's the road? Oh, what? F1. This is my root advisor. Oh, when the game is paused, you, I can control root advisor with the mouse. I have a set nav called root advisor available at all times. Root Advisor displays my current status and helps with information about the current job and points where, where I need to go. Let's see, my current status, current speed, gear, damage, fuel, fatigue, email indicator, time, and your money. Contents, uh huh. Page toggles, switch between navigation. Uh, there are also shortcut keys assigned to the most often used functions, which I can use instantly while driving. The available keys are suggested directly by Root Advisor. Okay. The navigation map shows my current position as a blue arrow. Whatever you do, don't tell green arrow that there's a blue. <laughs> if you are on a job, it also shows the shortest route to your destination in red. At the bottom of the page, there is an estimation of the remaining trip, time, and distance. And I can cycle through different zoom levels by pressing F5 or on, with button on the screen. Nice. Alright. There we go. The job description page summarizes what I'm carrying and where. It tells me when I'm when I'm expected, how much time I have left, and how much money I'll receive if I arrive on time without damage in the cargo. Which last time I was able to. I don't know if I'll be able to this time. I almost had a close call. Uh, they, on the diagnostics page, you can see how badly your truck, trailer, and cargo are damaged. The vehicles can be repaired at a service station in any city. The damage to cargo, however, is permanent, so be careful. If I happen to get stuck on the road, I can call roadside assistance by hitting the yellow button. Roadside. Roadhouse. <laughs> or a fee that will take you to the near city and help you get back working. And that's all I need to know about Root Advisor. 
I can run this tutorial again at any time by pushing F1. Or the help button. I don't know how to... Okay, so... So, I was basically going in the wrong direction. Oh, wow. Ah, but a bit of a bit of Is this like the only way out? Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see. I want to do F1 and then F5 because I need to see where I'm going. Uh, that's three, that's two. Is that the road? Yeah, yeah, that's the road, finally. Wow, this is the really long. I didn't think there were companies that went down the steep. Imagine those people having to park all the way up here just to walk all the way down. What a track that should be. Ah, finally, the entrance. Oh, wait, no, that's not the entrance. Someday I'll find the street I need to be on. Ah, but oh, woo! One. Finally, I am out of here, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm on the road again. It feels so great to be on the road again. Wait a minute. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Actually, you know where I am there. So now. I have to act like, you know, this is all real life because it kind of resembles real life. And another thing is, um, involving that, is everything I am seeing how it is in the real world today. Because if that's a fact, then that would be pretty awesome. Here I come, down, down, down the road I go. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, look at those driving skills. Okay, maybe not. Stop, stop, stop. Woo! Close call. Whoever is trying to come through, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm a little busy trying to keep within the lines. Golly. Driving is... Okay, I guess. I used to be a master pro of this. Now I gotta get a little back into it. Oh, I'm hitting the sides. Well, that's to be expected. Ah, 
Hello, what do we have here? Don't. Woo! I'd rather take this. I'd rather hit the uh, side roads than have to hit the, than to crash into that. I think I do a much better job driving inside than I do out. But then, you know, I, I don't get to see the beautiful scenery. Ah, I thought there was a traffic light coming up. Easy. Oh. All right, coming up to a turn. Woo! Now, trucks, I know, require space to turn. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Doing uh, doing some stuff off camera here. Like, in, not in-game, but, like, real-world stuff. So I'm going to be pausing again in, like, a few minutes. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the scenery, and I can talk about some other stuff. Like, for example, uh, I know that you can play the radio on here. That's always... Uh, that's pretty much the only entertainment you, one has when driving a truck. Because it, uh, I, can ima I, I can only imagine that it takes a great deal of focus to drive a truck. Keep from damaging it. And you know, you gotta make those wide turns, so you gotta be careful mindful of all the other people around you. And then there's that eight foot bridge. I don't know if anyone's ever seen videos of it, but there's like this eight foot bridge somewhere, I think in Maine. Like trucks can't go under it because then the top of their truck, uh, top of their cargo truck trailer will uh, be pretty much destroyed. Ooh, whoo! God, this is scary. You know, I honestly feel like I do a lot better driving on the inside than I do the out. Busts. Oh, this is 80. Is, is it a fact that you can go up to 80 miles per hour in the in Poland, the in the European side? I mean, here it's like 70. Oh god, can you imagine getting hit by train? Oh god, I I made that one. To anyone who is behind me, I apologize. I'm trying to keep my truck from spinning out of control to the to where I would will damage the cargo. I wonder what people will have to do to like get a, a class A uh, license to drive a truck. They probably have. They probably take like 
forces. <laughs> Man, there, there, there ought to be a um, there ought to be a speed limit of 88 so that you can time travel. <laughs> you know, that's the funny thing. Every time I try to start singing the um, Back to the Future music, it switches over to the Power Rangers time. I gotta go all the way to Bruno. How far is it? I'm really glad that no one decided to fly in front of me. I, mean, I hate that. I hate it when people just suddenly pull out in front of me like they think that they have enough time to actually do that, but in short, I don't have the time. Okay, I'm losing control. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm hitting the side. I'm a little nervous, okay? Can you blame me? This would be a whole lot easier if I was in free drive. I think there's a free drive mode, right? And you can like, drive around with all your other friends. Oh shit, I'm going like 80, I'm over 80. I mean, it's okay considering I'm not in a city. Oh yeah, the uh, back to the radio thing by the way. Um, I know my conversation's kind of all over the place. I originally wanted to talk about the radio. Uh, I know that there's like something like you can download song, your favorite songs and post them someplace in a file and then they'll show up here for you to listen to on the way as a source of entertainment. Oh really? I'm already 18 mi no, 17 minutes away? Oh yeah, damn. I'm getting close. Alright. I should have no more distractions. I just, you know, I'm all the way to the end. I'm always there, thankfully. Okay, let's slow down. All right, because I gotta make a turn anyway. Uh, bit, a 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 bit, all right. A uh, rectangular area will be highlighted on the ground and marked on the group visor as the place to park the trailer. When the trailer is properly positioned, a message will appear asking you to detach it. All right. Let's get in there. Where am I parking?
Am I missing something? Ah, damn. Okay, I went too far. <clears throat> No, 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 hang on, hang on. Ah. How do I... Alright, well I'm not damaging the cargo at any point. I don't understand how I'm supposed to... There we go. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Press the volume key, enter a number. Oh, okay. See if I can't, uh... And let me see if I can't back it in like that. The other way. Oh boy, this is not how I imagined. Okay, stop, 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 stop. How in the world do I do how I straighten you out? Stop, 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 stop. All right, it's Polar Express time. Like, left, right. Left, right. <laughs> Starboard, hardboard. <clears throat> Come on now, I can do it, I can do it. I'm going to get it, I am, I am a beast. if this thing would ever explode if it had the chance to.
Come on now, I can do this. Did I make it? No. Damn, it's not in the right spot. <clears throat> Damn. Come on now. This is a real pain. Come on now. I am totes focused. How in the how in the fuck how in the world am I even doing this wrong? Oh my muffin cake muffin. Oh, my muffins. How do I fix this? What? Screw it. I'm just... <sighs> I can't do it. I thought I could, but no. <clears throat> I sucked at trying to do it, so I, I sucked at trying to park. It, it's a lot harder than it looks, honestly. Alright, continue. Continue. <clears throat> But you get the general gist. I should have gone to safe mode. Free as the wind.
because there was no way I was ever going to... I would have spent hours trying to fix to get that. Uh, that's my headquarters. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once I've earned enough money and bought a truck, I will be able to move in the world freely and run my own business from there. Good luck. Uh, I will admit I'm a little disappointed that uh, I wasn't able to back it properly. Ah, uh, here I can see my progress, okay. But, oh, that's my next job. But, that's Zero Truck Simulator 2 in a nutshell. Skills, what are these skills that I have? So, oh, okay. I took skill. The ADR training. Oh, so depending on skills, I can. Uh, I'll be able to, like, deliver all this, which is. Very dangerous. So it's possible that my truck can blow up. Uh, this is the distance that I can travel, depending on you know, with all the ranks. So little skills. Uh, the value of cargo. The Increase of how fragile a uh, the cargo is, uh, how urgent a, uh, each of these deliveries are, eco driving, and the saving of fuel. Okay, got it. Progress history, not so well. Yes, there's a, a oh, and an email. What's my email? Oh, okay, it's just a truck advertising thing. But anyway, yes. I hope every uh, what am I trying to say? New upgrades available. But I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of the Euro Truck. I might play the American Truck, maybe. Uh, because I personally kind of want to see if where I live is the, uh, is exactly how it is in the game. <laughs> but it, if there is a free drive, then you know I can definitely drive around and do fruit you know, view the scenery. Maybe find out where all my friends live, visit them. <laughs> Be like, hey, how's it going? But in the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. This is SkyFi Fiber Diner 27 out.